Without objection, the chair may declare the committee in recess at any point. Before we begin today's hearing, I would like to take a moment to recognize the loss of a friend to all of us on this committee, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Congresswoman Jackson Lee was a longtime member of this committee who always fought passionately for her constituents and causes that she believed would better the homeland. I would like to yield to the ranking member for his remarks that he'd like to make. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And uh, like all of us, we are deeply saddened by the loss of uh, my colleague, who was my seatmate for quite a while, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Uh, needless to say, she will be missed. So uh, I'd like to, at this point, take a moment to honor the legacy of Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, who, as I said, passed away last week. During her nearly 20 years on this committee, she served on every subcommittee and left her mark on all of them. As every single one of us in this room know, there was no more fierce an advocate than Congresswoman Jackson Lee, and she directed her passion to making the homeland safer and more secure. She was dedicated to oversight, asking pointed questions of government and private sector witnesses alike, and pressing for hard answers. She was a prolific legislator who took pride in writing her own legislation and improving the bills of her colleagues through amendments. Congresswoman Jackson Lee fought for resources, for first responders, help for those suffering the effects of natural disasters and immigration policies that reflect our values as a nation of immigrants. Congresswoman Jackson Lee's reputation across Capitol Hill was similarly impressive. Indeed, it often appeared she could be in more than one place at a time. Within one hour, the Congresswoman could be observed giving a floor speech, participating in a committee hearing on a topic she cared about, and then giving remarks at an event to support a cause. She was a reluctant and relentless public servant, and every cause she took on was better because of it. The nation owes her a debt of gratitude. I'm grateful that Congresswoman Jackson Lee decided to lend her immeasurable energy and tenacity to our committee. Her absence will be felt just as much as her presence, and we will miss her dearly. Today, we continue our prayers for her family, friends, and constituents. And I yield back, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Thank you, Ranking Member. I ask that all members of the committee please rise and join me in observing a moment of silence to honor Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee's memory. Thank you. <clears throat> the purpose of this hearing is to examine the assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump that took place July 13. I now recognize myself for an opening statement. On July 13, 2024, our nation came within an inch of an unmitigated tragedy and crisis. In Butler, Pennsylvania, a 20-year-old gunman mounted a building in plain view of former President Donald J. Trump's campaign rally, took aim, and fired multiple rounds. 
At exactly the right moment, however, President Trump turned his head to read a chart so that a bullet which would have pierced his skull instead grazed his ear. Three others sitting behind President Trump on the stage experienced a different fate. 50-year-old Corey Comparator, a father and former fire chief, was struck and killed. As one outlet recently reported, this brave and loving man, quote, spent his final moments diving down in front of his family, protecting them from the gunfire that rang out, end quote. He is survived by his wife and two daughters. Two others, 57-year-old David Dutch and 74-year-old James Copenhaver, were seriously injured. I'd like to pause for a moment of silence in remembrance of Corey and in prayer for the recovery of David and James. Thank you, everyone. This failed attempt on President Trump's life demands urgent and comprehensive congressional oversight. We must understand how it happened to ensure that changes are made so this never happens again.